Hello, I'm Calby Newkirk, formerly Calby Cooper, a 2017 graduate from Southern Regional AHEC. I'm currently um, practicing in Wilson, North Carolina at Wilson Medical Center as a nocturnist or a, a nocturnal hospitalist. Um, 12 hour shift, seven on, seven off. This is my first and only job post residency. So I've completed three years now and I love it. I felt very well prepared to start here. Um, just to give you a better idea of the scope of practice for me currently. Um, it's a you know, medium to small size hospital, um, 294 beds with my census at night, usually ranging from 60 to 90, pretty high census right now uh, with the pandemic. But um, I'm mentioning that to say at nights, I work primarily alone eight out of the 12 hours. Um, and so that was a big deal, you know, ending residency and going into a position where I'm working um, most hours of the night shift alone. And I will say I felt very well prepared. I did. I was allowed a transition week or two um, just to get an idea of how to go about billing and how to go about um, running codes in the hospital since that's, that's a part of my job as well to cover all the codes during, uh, you know, from an inpatient perspective at night. Um, and so, you know, I felt very well prepared. We have an open ICU. Um, and so I, I take care of ICU patients as, at night as well. Um, it's been a, a steep learning curve, but as far as me being competent to do my job post-residency, I felt very well prepared. I think inpatient is one of Shrey Heck's um, prime and strongest uh, attributes I think uh, you know I, I decided to do the job that I have now for um, convenience from from life circumstances but even prior to that I uh, had a desire to do locums and full very well prepared to do uh, so you know I felt um, competent with outpatient medicine just as much as I do currently with inpatient so I feel like it, it's a great balance there um, the curriculum is wonderful the board prep is excellent. I have lots of uh, other family medicine resident friends who didn't have the same um, board prep and specifically the board prep course that we were allowed to go to. I think that was an excellent um, strength of Shrehek and you know it just eased the burden of knowing that you have this huge test to take at the end of residency and we felt so well prepared and we did well as a result of it. Um, I also think the faculty is great. Um, especially the community involvement of faculty who aren't just family medicine attendings, but also attendings like infectious disease or attendings who've done fellowships and things beyond just the traditional family. I think that was a wonderful attribute to have. Um, it, it helped me in my current position as well, you know, having the perspective of folks who work beyond just family to weigh in on my education. It's helped me tremendously to be able to help navigate um, taking care of folks at night alone um, and then also the community involvement I love um, things like health care for homeless and just being able to really help take care of folks who are in the community and may not have all the resources that are available to some of our more well-established patients we've we've had a lot of experience with that at Shrey Heck and it's helped me to prepare for being able to do those type positions in the future. So I think Shrey Heck was a wonderful choice. Um, I'm so fortunate and grateful that that's where I attended residency. And I'm always available for questions. Again, it's Calby Newkirk, and it's, I'm at Wilson, North Carolina, at Wilson Medical Center.